As a coach, when that ball's hit, boom, you're making a decision at third base, I'm in the moment. As a player, that ball's hit, you're in the moment. As a surfer, when you're riding the waves, you're in the moment. And as a musician, you're in the moment. So I feel like I'm very blessed to be able to, to have things like that that make you feel afterwards like that's how you're supposed to live. I don't run around with the restless kind. It took a lot of experience. It took a lot of years to come to a point, I think, where you can say, this is who I am, and this is as good as I can be tonight. You always seem to find me when you think I'm alone. I saw a player get a little bit too much of himself. And I guess I said it out loud. I didn't mean to say it that loud. It was just like I was thinking, and I just said, well, there's two kinds of players, the humble one and the one about to become that. And about 15 seconds later, Joey Votto looks over at me. He goes, where'd you learn that? I go, look at me. I've been in this business 33 years. I didn't just show up looking like this. You know, I had blonde hair and there was no scars on me. I said, the game will humble you. Life will humble you. It's good advice to follow, no matter what field you're in. I've always, as people said, got myself in trouble. And you, you look back on it, though, a lot of times you, it, trouble turned out to be the greatest blessing I've ever had. I can tell all their stories. I sing all their rhymes. Kind. It was opening day, 2011. We had won the world championship the year before, and we we're playing our rivals, the Dodgers. And we knew there were some issues in the, in the stands. When we heard the story about Brian Stowe, it it like I got kicked right in the stomach because everything that he is, I am, and it really deeply affected me that way. Their whole life changes in a blink of an eye. Not only Brian's life changed, but all of his family's life changed. Full-time caregivers, the rest of their lives. Everything that was important to you is now secondary to this. A year later, a guy emailed me and said, maybe we ought to do a benefit show, and maybe you'll do it, Tim. Maybe you'd like to do it. I go, I would love to do it. And then Bobby Weir gets wind of it and goes, I want to help you. And selfishly, I'm getting so much out of it because of his family. When I watched how none of them left the responsibility that now has been thrown upon them because of love, because of love, because they love him so much. Uh, being around that's made me a, a better. All things considered by the rest of A better man. I think live riveted means living in the moment, being passionate, living with forgiveness so you can forgive others and forgive yourself. I think live riveted doesn't mean being perfect. I think live riveted means at the end of the day, you, you said that was one of the best days of my life. And if I get a chance to do it again tomorrow, I'm gonna live just like that again.